Good morning, folks. It's Bob from Mountain Crest Farms. Oh, did everybody have a good Father's Day? I hope so. I did. Um, before I get started, <laughs> I've been standing here for 30 minutes waiting to start this video. Not because I couldn't think of anything to start to talk about. Uh, if you've been watching my videos for very long at all, you know I have no problems talking. Back over my shoulder over here, I don't know if you can see it coming in and out of the uh, view of the camera. There's a couple of ducks back there, but there's a rooster back there that, two things. He's crowing about every 10 seconds and he won't leave. Usually they wander around the property around here. But every time I started to turn the camera on, he'd crow. And, uh, a rooster in the background is not a bad thing, but a rooster in the immediate background being very loud and constant, I figured it'd mess up the video, so I've been trying to outweigh him. I finally gave up. However, now that I've started talking, I don't hear him. Maybe, maybe he figured it was my turn to say something. My son asked me a question yesterday. Um, it was about Father's Day. <laughs> My son can come up with some stuff every now and then. He posts a lot of stuff on Facebook that is really, really good that I would like to share. He's political just like I am. But, God, there's some memes out there that he posts or he shares from somebody else that are excellent memes, make excellent points, and they'll have the F-bomb in it. Or... It'll have some other just nasty stuff. I, I just, I'm not going to share that on my Facebook page. He doesn't know how to make a meme. He just shares other people's. And uh, he doesn't have the software to make a meme. I wish he'd get some so that he could clean them up a little bit, post the same thing, have the same effect, but not have some of the language in them that they got. But anyway, yesterday he asked me a question. Uh, he posted a meme is what he did, which asks a question. And it's a very interesting question, and this one didn't have any nasty things in it. He said, why is it that on Mother's Day, every restaurant in the world is packed to capacity taking mom out for Mother's Day dinner? But on Father's Day, we're expected to stand out there in the heat. The fathers are expected to stand out in the heat over a hot grill Grilling hamburgers <coughs> or smoking a pork butt for pulled pork barbecue. Mother's Day seems to be let mom relax, and Father's Day seems to be let fathers work harder. It's an interesting question. It brings up some other interesting male female questions. Why is it that men are rude? If we don't, if we leave the seat up, you know the seat I'm talking about. We're expected to be polite and put it back down for the women. Why is that? Why are we rude if we leave it up, but they're not rude if they leave it down? I've, I've wondered about that a few times. But uh, I'm going to have some other questions that have no answers in another video. I think I'm going to do a video on questions that you wonder about or questions that have no answers. But that's not what this one's about. You know, I don't have a clue what this one's about. I, uh, I can come up with some things. And this morning, I'm having a hard time thinking about anything that's not politics. <coughs> and I want to apologize for all the coughing. Y'all know I'm a smoker. It's a very humid morning. And uh, kind of works on long-term smokers' lungs. Which, by the way, that's going to be another video I'm going to do. I'm going to do a video just for younger folks. The 35, 40, 45, 50 folks who smoke. And for the 
35, 40, 45 year old folks who have kids who are mid to upper teens and right in that age that they might start smoking. I'm going to do a video for y'all. Won't be a nice video. Um, won't be nasty. I'm not going to show pictures of dissected lungs or anything like that. But I'm going to do a video that shows you what you got in store for you. If you don't sm quit smoking. and Or if you start. If parents will share the video with their kids. I say share the video with their kids. Um, you can put age restrictions on your videos where it doesn't get shown to accounts that are young people. I don't. Because I don't put anything on there that kids shouldn't see. <coughs> <coughs> but by the same token, kids don't watch my videos. Uh, you look at the analytics on who watches your videos. My, uh, my videos are watched predominantly male, about 87%. Although I think these coffee chats are the other way. Um, they're watched predominantly by people in the 35 to 40, 45 year old age group. And surprisingly enough, the United States is not the leading country that watches my videos. Neither is Canada. Somehow my videos make it across the pond and the United Kingdom gets I get more views from there than anywhere else. You do know that YouTube tells YouTube creators a lot about the audience. I know a lot about y'all. YouTube's owned by Google. And Google knows everything about y'all. I'm just waiting for one day for the statistics on, or the analytics on my videos to pop up with a new category that tells me what color underwear y'all are wearing when you watch. You will get there eventually. I don't know how that will help me decide what kind of videos to make, but uh, I'm sure Google will figure out a way because they want to know everything about you. But anyway, um, I'm going to do that video on... Uh, I'm going to show you just where smoking leads to. Um, or where it's led me to. Might lead you somewhere else, but I'm nothing special, so it'll probably lead you and me in the same place. Oh, me. You don't know how hard it is to stay away from politics this morning. Oh, but I'm going to. And since I've got politics right up in the front of my head, and... I'm having a hard time not doing anything that's not politics. I think I'm going to leave today's video pretty short and leave it there. I, you know, think about those questions. If y'all have some answers, put them down in the comments. You know, why are restaurants full on Mother's Day, but fathers are expected to barbecue or grill hamburgers or smoke a, bri smoke a brisket or smoke pulled pork, something like that. And why is it that men are rude if they leave the toilet seat up, but women aren't rude if they leave the toilet seat down? Those two questions need answering, along with some others. Um, but now you know at least a couple of videos that are coming up. The unanswered questions video and uh, the not-so-fun, funny video about what smokers can look forward to. <coughs> I know y'all have no desire to sit and listen to me cough, so I'm going to cut it short. But I am going to remind you two things. Number one, the tomb was empty. And number two, he is alive. With that, y'all go have an awesome day because I'm going to. Oh, oh, thumbs up if you like the video down there. Thumbs up at the bottom. Thumbs down if you don't like the video. That's okay. Um, hit the little subscribe button. Hit the little bell so you get notifications. Leave me some comments. Tell me how stupid this video was, if, it, if that's what you think it is. And I will see you all tomorrow. Till then, have an awesome day.
I'd hate for me to have an awesome day and y'all not to. So since I'm going to, y'all need to. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye.